Welcome back to Fireside Cast. Uh, I'm Shears. Today I'm joined by my co-caster Mocha and yeah. Doctor Underscore on production. They're covering Invite Week 3A, GPG versus the Covenant, and we'll be starting shortly. But first, let's run down these rosters. Uh, Mocha, would you like to do the Covenant? Um, sure. I can cover the Covenant. Uh, I guess. To give a quick recap for the Covenant, uh, they are 2-1 right now. Um, coming in here, we do have Catface, Grape Juice, Hubbada, uh, No Mercy, Scratch, and I believe um, we do have uh, Sin Carmen. Or actually, that's No Mercy. Apologies. Uh, we do have Cat. Yeah. Apologies on my behalf. <laughs> All right, and on the side of GPG, starting today are Slugmundo, Kawa, Scarfs, Paniferous, uh, Rocket, and KJ Quad. KJ Quad in particular is the player I'm, I'm looking out for. Been a top invite scout for, I'd say, a few seasons now. One to keep an eye on, definitely a playmaker in my book. Uh, GPG 4 and 0 so far. Uh, to be fair, it's not been against any of the like high invite teams, but these two teams sitting at third and fourth on the invite table currently, so this should be a, a nice close one. Yeah, yeah. I definitely will probably be, for the Covenant, be keeping my eyes on uh, Grape Juice, because I know there's a lot of talk, like I, I do delve into Twitter and whatnot a lot, and I do see Grape Juice be very communicative there and stuff, and very excited about playing his uh, season of invite, so I definitely have my eye on him and hoping for his successes. Ah, so what I'm hearing is that Grape Juice is a very active Twitter user. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of the uh, invite sixes players are very hubbed around Twitter, so you get to see them interact a lot. And I definitely am rooting for uh, kind of the more like I guess underdogish players. So who would that be in this match, in your opinion? Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of putting you on the spot. <laughs> like, no, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> who are the bad I, players in this match, Mocha? No, I don't particularly think they're bad players, but more so the players that are first coming in to invite here, especially yeah, seeing their successes but... over time. Um, obviously, like we said, uh, we like we haven't seen them face off against like those like higher teams. I think it was, um, I think it was the Covenant actually did already face off against G Six once and did take a loss there, but GPG hasn't really faced off any of those teams yet. Like, talk about like G6, Froyo, and such. So, uh, I'm looking hopefully to see a close game. Uh, we'll have to see what GPG uh, takes from this, especially since I think GPG and Covenant are very close in terms of skill, especially with how they've been playing. So, uh, I do want to see, you know, a really good close game. But I kind of do want to see GPG, I guess, take a bit of that struggle, especially since they've been kind of wiping the board with their four wins. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we are still waiting for a couple players to get back. Right. While we're waiting, um, I should let everyone know that if you're looking for dedicated Chicago servers, you can get your 18 or 24 slot server for as low as 10 bucks a month, personalized and catered for your competitive TF2 needs from Swifty servers. It's got the RTL config plugins and maps bundled in, automatic updates, FTP access, and source TV with no downtime at all, minimal setup work. It's every team leader's dream. You don't have to worry about it. Um, so, and we've got an affiliate link to help get you, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it'll help you out. So check it out. Okay, production is calling me out. Our, the affiliate link only provides tracking, but it's still cool. And um, I guess, uh, continuing back to our conversation before she is, I guess, is you did mention a player that you're looking out for. Is there anyone else you're kind of just keeping an eye out for, a team that you're rooting for, anything here? Or are you just yeah. kind of coming here, like, just empty table? Any expectations? I'm looking to see 
how the Paniferous demo is going to play. Um, I know I know them to be like a demo player with like a lot of variance in how they play. Um, either they can have nights where they're playing really, really well or nights where they're like a little below average, but it's like it's very high peaks and deep valleys for, for them. So I think they'll be a key player for GPG. So we'll have to see if they turn up. Sounds like we are going live soon. 90, 90 seconds, I'm being told. Uh, we do yeah. have all 12 players in survey, so... Got any predictions on the scoreline, Mocha? Ooh, um... Hmm. I want to say that this this is going to be in favor of the Covenant. Um... I think it'll be close, though. I feel like we're going to see something like, like a 5-4, 5-3 kind of thing, because... Um, the Covenant has a lot of those, like, obviously, like, we do have, like, some players who haven't played a lot of Seasons of Invite and whatnot, but there's a lot of familiar faces, and I'm saying, like, uh, being familiar with each other and just kind of having that synergy and that experience will really take them, uh, far away, so. Yeah, we'll I think have I'm to putting see. my bets here on, uh, Covenant. Uh, I'm going to go the other way. I think GPG is going to take it based oh, on the strength yeah. of their record so far. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it has, hasn't has been against the best teams in Invite, but uh, it has been like fairly dominant. Uh, no game has been within closer than in two rounds. We 4 would Thrombology uh, just a few days ago. So I think oh, and it does look like we're getting started here. Right. Predictions are prediction. open in the chat. Alright. Take us away for our rollout, Mocha. <laughs> so, pretty standard rollout. We do have Karma going through uh, kind of the slow demo rollout here. Um, yeah, he is gonna get to going to win, actually. actually. Yeah, they're going Valley here, so... It seems like both teams kind of went Valley here. They're just kind of playing the rotation uh, around. Just Tetris, it seems. We do have a bomb in here, oh. a soldier exchange here. Yeah, how I got Behind isolated Tetris, but from blue choke. Yeah. A lot of high ground being taken by blue bills, which is doing them a lot of favors here, and it seems to be shoving uh, red team out here to the choke on the opposite end of the map. And it does look like Penny is going to get caught out here, and Grape yeah. is going to get chased oh, down. No. But, oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Scarf and Rocket just kill binds. That's it's a good move, yeah. honestly. Like no players left get to caught heal. Out. Caught on the wrong side of mid, and that's a real strong mid fight for the side of the Covenant going into this first round. Yeah, especially since like uh, mid, like Covenant took a lot of high ground there, and they kind of just caught players out isolated one at a time. So it did give them like a lot of space, and they just caught out uh, all of GPG on the opposite end of the map, so they didn't even have anywhere to retreat at that point. Yeah, gun coming up, it hits level 2 oh, just as the uber comes in top left. Uber comes in, yeah. And we aren't seeing any picks early, the heavy's coming out, everyone's kind of stuffed in this doorway though. All in the right side doorway, and it seems like cat face here is almost dead, but it's gonna live here just barely, and the cap is gonna go out. Wow, and that was... a very clean round. Yeah, that was looking, that uber was looking a little tenuous there. It used almost the whole thing, and um... Hadn't killed anyone, but it, it all came together at the end. Uh, yeah, GPG was still stuck in spawn, and they got melted as they tried to come out and contest the point. Yeah, and it seems like we're going to have a very similar rollout here. Nothing too strange other than... Uh, we are going to see GPG not take the ballot here. They're going to go all the way through Cafe this time. And uh, down to 14 of right away. A lot of sort of bombing in, trying to clean up the damage, does do so. Kawa trying to jump in. Oh, but just can't. Oh, and Jimmy is going to be alone here, getting chased back to scratch, and it's going to get cleaned up in the end. And it's going to be complete full Uber ad for Blue Team here, so. The Covenant's feeling extremely comfortable here, and it's going to be a familiar last hold for your GPG here. Yeah, I'll we'll see if they can do it again. Ad. But yeah. spawns are longer on, on this time, too, it feels like. Like, they're. Red team is just spawning. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. see if well, KJ quad on the pyro. We'll see if he can get into position in time. Yeah. Does he have we do lead? have two pyros actually. We have oh Paula and we have. 
It's it's the mind games, but they're gonna come <laughs> in top left and bypass here. both pyros. Gun in a different spot, but it's gonna Everyone's go down stuck and in spawn again. Alan jumping in, trying to distract, Ooh. making anything happen. And red team does DPD will push back out of spawn. They're focusing down cat face, and it's just Sin Karma left. He's gotta run with his tail between the legs. A much better last hold at full disag from GPG that time. Yeah, and it's like practically gonna be like 70, 80 ad for uh, JPG, so they're gonna be extremely comfortable here trying to push into uh, mid once again. And it seems like, you know, like the Covenant's already playing here on second. Uh, you know, they're peeking their heads. Actually, no, they're moving up into mid here. We do have a spy play coming in, possibly, especially with the full Uber ad. We do have Hub Down Spy. So we'll have to see how he's back that way. Oh, uh, he's just back capping a spy and dragging uh, everyone back. Wasting their time, they're still gonna have Uber ad here, but Hubda's still alive. Yeah, I, I don't know about this. Since now they know you have a spy and you still have full ad. Yeah. I think they're just gonna walk in. Down a player, right? And Hubda's gonna go down here and there's gonna be a soldier team. Actually, Kev wins it. He's gonna be so capping this... here. Uber hasn't come out yet. The cap is just going through here. Is Kev gonna get yeah. contested? Uh, Stars and Slug Mundo do clean them up at the last minute. This has bought a lot of time uh, for the Covenant to build that Uber up. They're already yeah. at 80%. Sort of trying to go back for the back half behind. once more. But, but, but yeah, the GPD is flank is all over behind, that. All They're contesting the caps. point, and you know what? Blue's going to get Uber. Oh, and, yeah. and Rocket drops Quad. Yeah. It's a disaster for a GPG. And They're forced back into their here. own choke. Scott's collapsing here. Oh, but a huge bomb from Kawa and Slug Mundo. The remaining players of GPD battered, bruised. Slug Mundo trying to make a play, but it's a distraction for Kawa. They get in as well. That face down to 52, but can't convert on it. And Kawa is going to get caught out here in the end. Scratch going to clean him up. Clean him up here. And it looks like second is just gonna go here to the Covenant. And uh, Ubers are like practically even, just slight disad on behalf of uh, JPG with 20% disad, but it seems like they're being, gonna be a lot more comfortable trying to hold this plane. Yeah, that's what, 16 Especially seconds of kiting? On or that disad uh, previously, they cleaned up like extremely well, especially being on disset on last. So being even here is gonna be so much more comfortable than the disset that they've been facing in the past yeah. two Ubers. And here come the Covenant straight into yeah. lower. Some karma bombing in. Ubers do come out, but oh, they're gonna lose Kawa here early and Scarfs is gonna get cleaned up as well. They're down two already and they haven't used. Oh, oh and, they, and they don't even contest the point. They're all just hiding in spawn. Yeah. They didn't have Uber yet, they were at like 93%. Yeah, 93, so Rocket, exactly. Yeah, Rocket wasn't able to pop here, but no one yeah. contested the point at all during that, and Covenant's just gonna be able to take that point swiftly. Yeah, a DPG soldier tried to block us out, but they just got melted immediately. Yeah, and the heavy walk down just got melted as well. Is so Early fast. bomb from Kawa. Yeah. It's gonna does, be half health here. Yeah, it does punish uh, Sinkarma a little bit. Penny's gonna get caught out. That. Penny's like 25 health, and he goes down in the end. Not able to get any heals here, and Kev is on Jimmy, and Jimmy just goes down as well. A lot of scrappy fights happening here in trades. Just Kawa left. It's gonna be left. a 3v2, just Kawa, and Kawa's gonna go down. That's gonna be a full wipe for JPG, and Covenant's gonna be decently comfortable here. Me both medics are on the same respawn, though. So, yeah. Ubers will be even, but this midpoint and the midfight will go to Covenant once again. Yeah, it's not it's not been good for DPE, but the mid packs are slowly trending better. Like this time, yeah. both meds died instead of uh, DP just wiping. Mm. We'll have to contend with these stickies as they try to contest second. Someone's gonna be contesting here on second, but it's gonna take a lot of damage, and he's gonna be extremely low. Rocket down and to thirty go as down. well, waiting for that lobby pack. But the frags are falling in GPG's favor. Yeah. Half face dead again. Scout chasing scars with a oh, 4k. Oh my gosh. Grip just almost hit Jimmy with the pickaxe here. Right. Great work from the GPG scouts to turn that messy, chaotic fight into a win. Yeah, especially being so spread out and losing their soldiers so early, that was definitely very scary for them, but they were able to focus down on the flanks and whatnot to kind of just pull themselves back. 
And they're gonna be able to take up a uh, second here with no contestion. Especially with their Uber ad as well. They're sitting at about like 50% Uber ad, so they're gonna be really comfortable trying to push into last. But yeah. we'll have to see if they're fast enough to actually contest last before Catface yeah. gets Uber. Are they gonna check for the gun or are they just gonna use in? It looks like they're getting ready to just use in top left. Yeah. But, but Catface is standing coming up close. with Uber soon. 80% yeah. here, and Exchange does come out. Here comes out with Uber. Is it going to find anyone here? The gun is going to go down, though. I are doing a lot of work denying the spam on yeah. the gun. And Catface goes down before getting Uber. But the frags all fall for the Covenant. A lot of good frags for the Covenant. They were able to scrap that together at the very end. It seems like a lot of JPG kind of fed to get the med there, especially knowing that uh, the Ubers were decently close. So they kind of fed for the med and then didn't really play objective or didn't play picks and kind of just got cleaned up after the uber faded. Yeah, you feel like maybe maybe they could have just regrouped and, and taken a better post uber fight there for sure. But as it is, it's going to be relatively even ubers, deep via mid, coming in on second, and it should settle down for a moment here. Yeah, it seems like we're finally going to have our first stalemate of today, with ubers being completely even, but... Mid is going to be in JPG's favor, but the Covenant being two up, two points up, are going to be completely fine with wasting time and still meeting. So this is technically in Covenant's favor to just wait here as long as they want until JPG makes their move. Yeah, we'll see what that move will be. Are they going to bring in their heels Valley to exert some well, pressure and so oh in gosh, off of that collar in deep? Some karma is going to go down to Kala's. Sack, wow. but that's a good Scarf trade. Still behind us. Have a two pipes for Penny. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Now this is gonna be absolutely disastrous for the Covenant. No one dealt with Scar. Scar's just bought in, does a whole bunch of damage to the soldier, and then runs under. And wraps all the way from under onto Catface and just kills Catface. And JPG's already pushing into last year yeah, with so Uber coming be. up. And they have locking down this left side. Oh, but they draw Pigeon here. And they do pop here, but mm, no picks coming out yet with this. Okay. A lot of damage coming out, but no cleanup. Catface lifts here. Extremely sure. scrappy here, but they are starting to clean up slowly. Oh, soldier time on the point. Oh, but How on so much damage. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Oh, that was so, that was a little messy. That was not the that cleanest was... push ever from GPG, yeah, but they, they gritted it out and made it work. Some that's just TF2 sometimes. They draw Pluto. <laughs> yeah, that's the second time KJ Quad's been dropped so far this match, and it's yeah. only ten minutes in. If I'm not pockets yet, I'm not not happy with my medic about that. All right, we're rolling on to this yeah. fourth mid here. <laughs> Both teams going valley again. So you know, a lot of high early. ground from JPG. A lot of high ground from the stick. A ball coming in stuck from in Kala. The Kala is going to get cleaned up here, and all of the Covenant is just getting stuffed into Cafe here. Still so mid fight here. Both a scout and soldier down for uh, JPG, but it is a demo down for the Covenant. Kind of just playing different sides of the map here. Very yeah. scared. Players respawning for both sides. Both sides have Uber now. Sort of both bombing in Uber. onto Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy's still alive here. Penny as well. Just, it's a continuous just mid fight. Uber does come out. This is going to be a lot better for Catface here, popping later. Yeah, but with did. the picks that uh, JPG have, this is going to be a mid for JPT. Yeah, they lost two players to force them earlier, and it just didn't work out yeah. in their favor. Trying to exert some pressure, oh, the flank is in. Catface and Sin Kamra oh, wiped my, out. Oh JPG, just the perfect collapse onto second here. Huge uber out for them now. They're yeah, gonna think, take up second easy and then look to take last. I think they were looking choke and nobody was watching Cafe, and JPG took full advantage. Here they are, and they're going to convert this into a tie game, riding that momentum to another round. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to, what to say about that. That was it was so scrappy, and then it was perfect. 
The second after. Okay. Going from that awkward last push to just the perfect collapse on second, that was completely different sides of JPG. Yeah. <laughs> the devil and the angel. Uh, Covenant looking like they take a, want to take a fight on left here, but Sinkara melted immediately. Uh, well, sort of rolled on the high here. tower. That's that's a trade on Bell, and this is a DPD mid. The control point is being captured. A complete switch of the air, and JPG has been contesting here on second, and it seems like the Covenant's just gonna give this up pretty easily, knowing their disadvantages here. Ubers are gonna be even though. Although being down a player, and they're just going to be looking to hold last here. No silly off classes yet. Oh, we do have an engineer coming up here for the Covenant, but um, nothing strange in particular for JPG for the even Uber situation. Did Did Cafe start the game on medic? I I believe so. Yes. Okay. How about it was always Sun Scout for this one at least. Oh, GPD's taking a lot of space on the right side of point yeah, there. They're, they're spam down, down the dun. Yeah, but... they're gonna lose both their soldiers for that though, so... Not particularly the biggest success for them. Seeming like seeing that Covenant's gonna take advantage of this to try and push into lobby and push into second, but... Both uh, soldiers are coming up here. We do have a pyro on JPG on here. Yeah, on options for JPG. And we do have a spy on uh, the Covenant here. We do see Grape Juice going up on spy, so with these odd off classes, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, Scarfs. Scarfs is picked immediately cut out by here. a trap. Yeah. And the Pyro did get spotted. Kawa and Pyro did get caught here. And oh my god, Grape Juice is gonna get spy checked. I didn't know we were playing Highlander tonight. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> I just. Slugmundo shot a spam rocket out of. Out of just like, it's what you do as a soldier when there's nothing to do. You spam a token, it directed great juice right in the face. Yeah, and the gun is gonna go down here. A lot of good spam coming out of JPG. We're still even here, and we do have someone sacking in here. So Mundo is gonna go down though. Grape juice barely living on a crumb of health. Is gonna live here. Oh, uh, delicious, delicious health crumbs. <laughs> gonna get saved by his man, but. Seems like Covenant's just gonna settle back here onto this point, but if they want to win this match, they do have to push out eventually. This is even now. Before it was comfortable since they were two up, but now that's two to two, unless they want to take some points home with them, they gotta move out of this last. Uh, minute fifty left on that round timer. Uh, I'm on the Kawa camp for a little bit. I want to see what what's the thought process here. What what are they trying to accomplish? They've rebuilt the gun in a different spot, so it looks like <laughs> JPG is just playing the gun, like, the tower defense destroy game. <laughs> um, I was just begging anyone to shoot a projectile at them, but they, but they know better. <laughs> and the gun goes down, and here we have another gun coming out of scratch. So, we'll have to see what happens. It seems like they're looking to take an exchange Kawa here. Kawa deep. They've they're taken over the left side. Yeah. yeah. Getting a point. Wait, hello? So much Anyone? cap time. <laughs> Uber's getting exchanged here on the point. A lot of cap time for JPG though, and is gonna clean up grape juice here during the exchange. And Uber's are gonna fade here. Scarf going down, both scouts going down, Jimmy going down, JPG is wiping. It's just Slugmundo left. It, Slugmundo is it left. enough? Cap phase is so low here. This is so dangerous. Slugmundo going in for the oh, pick. No. Oh no, cap phase with that insanely late death is gonna be definitely hurtful for you. the Covenant here. Killer Jimmy instinct just from Silk Mundo. Yeah. There. Staying in there was it was it was winnable. But you know, he he did the second best thing he could have done, which was just getting yeah. the med and dying there. Yeah, you can like fight for a point, but that's going for the med is the higher percentage play. Yeah. There. And that's gonna give them a twenty-five ad here. Yeah, not too much. If they take this fast, they can definitely uh catch out cat face. But it seems like they're just kind of spotting the area and just putting a lot of pressure on left side here. They are going to lose KJ though, so yeah. this is very dangerous. They lost two already here. Three actually. Oh, because the round timer is running out. Yeah. That's why. It seems like round's just going to reset here. Uh, I guess that was possibly what 
uh, the Covenant was looking for was just around you set, being on an awkward last, but... Yeah. Um, it wasn't particularly horrible. Like, they were in... even Ubers, there was like, it wasn't Disad or anything, so... Yeah. Um, but maybe they're just more comfortable with possibly winning another mid and just taking it all the way home, so we'll have to see what they do here in this mid to try and oh. change things up. GPD kind of stuck in Valley here from yeah. some Karma's stickies. Finally bursting out, but they've eaten some spam. They're a little low. Soldier Bomb coming yeah. in. Sun Luna going on to Cat Face here is going to clean up Karma instead. And the second and pick on the JPG. Grape Juice. Oh my god, JPG is just cleaning up everyone. Cat Face just trying to get out here. He's going to be completely low. Trying to find Kawa, and Kawa's gonna live with 21 health. If he did get that melee off, he could have killed him. <laughs> wow, that's a far cry from the first mid. GPG's already onto their opponents last here. Yeah, trying to set like up. Uh, not quite fast enough to set up the spawn camp, but they're controlling all the doors. Yeah, it looks like they're just trying to set up in lobby here with their huge advantage here. They just have practically full ad here, and they're just waiting to cap second and work all the way in. Fort KG Guard with a cheeky pick on to Abida and Scratches on Thermal Thrust Repire. Possibly an interesting play, but a lot of captain coming out for JPG and a lot of cleanup coming out as well. Practically Scratch. even here. Both scouts down for JPG though, but both soldiers down for the Covenant. A very scrappy fight still happening and Kawa is gonna go down, but that's traded with uh, Sin Karma. Oh. And Penny oh. still lives there? Oh my gosh, insanely... Insanely scrappy. But... This is gonna be in JPG's favor. This is gonna take them up to winning the match at this point. 3-2. Yes. It's the momentum. tf 2 is a game of momentum and... Covenant <laughs> have been unable to slow GPG down after those yeah. first two rounds. We're gonna see how this mid goes. Uh, Sinkama rolling out... Um, choke again this time, doing so much damage to Kala's Penny and the soldier. Dead here, practically. Oh, but Penny goes down here so early, but same with Sin Karma. No demos here on this mid, but we are going to see a lot of trades happening in the cafe area for Blue Side. Scars is still behind, it's just going to kind of try and combust here and drag eyes. It's going to go down in the end. Now it's a 3v3. Yeah, 3v3 happening here. Sack in, but. Cafe isn't gonna go down here, it's just gonna barely live. And it seems like JPG is going to give up this mid, and this will be Covenant's mid. Catface dodged an arrow there, like, by, by millimeters. Did you I see that? That would've it, killed them. I saw Jimmy shoot an arrow all the way through Cafe. And here comes the push, though. And he dropped. Ooh. Caught out. We're gonna have a trade here. Caught with the trade? A pop does come out of Catface here. Um, we're gonna have an exchange happening in mid. This is gonna be pushing out into... The Maybe. chariot's just oh running them down. Oh my god! The momentum! <laughs> just an insane wipe! They just had a slightly better uber there. They just held that for a bit longer and then just rushed it into mid. Cleaning up everyone with it. Yeah, the Covenant tried to run away, but you can't run away from two scouts. Scarfs and Quad cleaning up the whole team there. They don't even get anything out of the forward spawn. Yeah, How this is going to be a be close ad. eye on that. This is ad for JPG, and Once this is going to be a familiar last for the Covenant. If they're looking for a round reset here, they're going to be wasting a lot of time, especially being down a, a point here. Yeah, 80%. Let's see how they set it up. Prepping in lobby, giving out those nice buffs for the post fight. Going to go top right, and here we go. And Uber is coming out here. Gun's still up. Slowly going down. It's going to get cleaned up. We still have this heavy to deal with, though. Still full health, and it looks... Uber is going to fade here, and Penny is just going to go completely down to Sin Karma. Play uh, God, I, think, I guess. I think you have to back out here. And they are going to have to back out off of those picks. And they are going to clean up uh, Submundo and uh, Scarfs there, so... This is extremely unfavorable for JPG now. And it seems like the Covenant is trying to take advantage of that, cleaning up Kawa and just kind of rushing into second. Can retake that point and possibly look for taking mid. Yeah. So Karma hitting two long range pipes on the Penny and then they just got cleaned up off of that, stunting oh, the Oh, high bomb from Slugmundo! Does anyone see it? Oh! Cafe's lives there. 
Not enough oh. rockets to clean him up, but very dangerous there. Great bomb for sure. Um, it's the karma, Mr. President. Ooh, Penny, caught Penny out. is gonna get caught they out have here. Uber. Jimmy We're gonna have a trade on mid. We have a trade, but they're milking this so hard. Jimmy doesn't even use it. He hasn't used it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> and the Uber is gonna pop here, but oh my gosh, the milk of the century, I guess. And we have a 1v1 happening here in the tower for Miv, but is gonna get Kev is gonna get cleaned up by Scarfs, and this is gonna be technically in favor of JPG once again. They are gonna have Ad here with a seven second respawn in cat phase, and no one really setting up here on last. Really long respawn timers. Wow. Oh. Jimmy stepping up, milking that Uber no in, fear. in an insane no amount of fear. time. Like, if that was me, I was popping, like, when the other teams dropped. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and we do have Pyro coming up here again on Scratch on the Thermal Thruster. We'll have to see what he wants to do with this. No other, like, no other strange off-classes. We do have an NG on last, which is familiar with the uh, disad, but uh, it looks like Jimmy is going to be coming up here with Uber and uh, about 50% ads. So we'll have to see how they like. Alright, they see the Pyro, they're going to rotate. <laughs> Right? No, they're Ubering into the Pyro. Oh, they're Ubering I don't into know the Pyro. No this. fear. Oh, but they do clean out. They do Uber on a scout, which is viable here. And Catface has not been caught out here. Is it going to be sitting at 75%? Can they live until Catface gets Uber? I think they will. And it looks like they're going to get a lot of good They don't even here. need it. Yeah. A lot of good picks, and it seems like JPG is just going to let go of this one. Kev playing super aggressive. Getting on to second here. Slugmundo being half health. It's gonna, gonna get out. On, yeah. Oh, but it seems like they're still trying to contest here. This is quite dangerous. I guess with all the respawners coming back in, they're looking to contest second. And they do get. Uh, Scars is in. Sim Karma is the down right now, so. And a pop does come out of Cafe. So this is Uber ad technically, and they're gonna clean up some players here, but they aren't gonna catch Jimmy here, so. This is gonna be Elite Frog. And Slugmundo's still behind. Getting all the second chaos. here. I don't think they um, can block mid here. They're they're making a show of it, but it's, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, they're not looking to block mid, so they're just gonna kind of cap mid and then turn to try and kill Slugmundo. But Soldier it seems like he's gonna get out. No, let's get cleaned up by. He's Paula. on an adventure. Slugmundo is gonna bomb in. A lot of damage on some cover. Sitting at 22 health is gonna live here though. And JPG falling into mid once again. And it seems like they're just gonna take this based off of just pure pressure of their advantage. Reading both soldiers there, a little unfortunate. Uh, Quad clearing these traps will slow them down a bit, but nobody on blue really there to provide any follow-up. Yeah, and it's like second. Ubers are going to even out here. They're going to give up second, but uh, with everything even now, um, hopefully they'll be a bit comfortable with trying to win the post fight and push out for the Covenant. But we'll have to see what they do. They do pull up the NG again, so it looks like they're just kind of trying to. Stall again with the sentry. Yeah. I wonder uh, if they'll no bring out the. Classes, but... Yeah. I wonder if they'll bring out the Kawa Pyro again. It seemed. The Kawa Pyro on offense. They got through like on the left side for free a couple times because mm -hmm. this the Covenant can't shoot a projectile projectiles at the Pyro, so they they just walk their whole th team through and took over the yeah. left side of of last. That seemed really effective to me. So I I'd love to see them do that and again. Possibly? Never mind. Call is just bombing from under into left side. It's gonna live here. A lot of damage being traded, but nothing specific happening. We do have three minutes to just kind of sit on this last. Actually, Soldier yeah, in. Three ten. Soldier in. Call is gonna sack, but nothing to his avail. Yeah, we'll see what class oh, we can find. Oh, it's like almost winning that fight, but Captain's just barely saving Grape Juice there. And it looks like they're just gonna try and push Scouts out the Scouts onto Jimmy. Ooh, on Jimmy, and it's gonna get, get the, the force. force here. This is really good for the Covenant. But they have 2 minutes 40 to take this all the way to last here. With their full oh. advantage, we'll have to see what they do with them. Still have just, an NGO, but... How do they just walk out and around the point and yeah. shot and force the med? I, I, don't, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> We've seen that happen a couple of times with, like, Scarf going all the way through under and just killing uh, Cafe, so I guess it's kind of just like a silly little scout adventure that's been happening recently. Yeah, here comes the push from the cover. And the Uber is going to come out here, going to catch out Penny here and looking to catch out more, but it's not going to get anywhere. Oh, oh there's last. a back cap. Oh my 
gosh. Three Just players there to clean up yeah. Kawa. Another soldier lurking in the dungeon. Yeah. So Nono is going to be under here. Wait, the back cap possibly. But no, he's just going to wrap around the lobby. Is he going to oh, bomb he's point? Wrapping around here he goes. Point Massive damage. Instead, it is going to get huge uh -oh. damage off. Going to get a pick, but it was definitely an opportunity to possibly back cap instead. Where where is the team there? You, you got to have the team in to clean up. Slugmuno did so much damage, but I guess they, they can't know for sure he's going to do yeah. 400 damage on point. And this is add on JPGs, so. They do have 1 minute 30 left in this match, so they could take this to another point, but Covenant has to play fast here to get something to take this to last. They will be bullied out with that slight Uber advantage. Yeah, and they are going to cap second here for JPG. And Ubers are going to even out here, so we'll have to see what exchange oh, is going to come out. Oh, two picks. Scratch and gonna, some karma is gonna go down. This is really bad for the Covenant now. That's gonna open the floodgates. Here they come, streaming through yeah. the left side. Scout time on point. They gotta come with the Uber. And the contest. Uber does get popped out here. Jimmy milking and is gonna pop in the end. A lot of damage being traded out, but it seems like the respawners for the Covenant are gonna come out here, but with all the picks happening for JPG in their favor. And that's another round. And that's another round for JPG. 4-2 to two in their favor. This is just 30 seconds left, so... It oh, is. It, it is, is then, Kim. The, the progressive rule set, Mocha. So this ah, will yes, not the end when this reset. timer runs out. Chill, chill. Uh, JPG will have to score one more round, or Covenant will have to make a comeback. Kawa yeah. Kawa in fast. But it's no, cleaned up immediately JPG and... is gonna clean up Scar. Right. And they're just out of the mid. Uh I've been looking to push the advantage, but it's stuffed by Slick Mundo. They they should know. And Slug Mundo is going to be behind, but is likely going to get cleaned up here. Penny is going to be down as well, so this is going to be a bit tough trying to take an exchange here. Most of the comments settling here on second, and then trying to look to move into last. Wait, they're They're's all here. You're just on moving the point. in here. They're on point. Looking to exchange. They pop. Ubers are practically even here in this exchange. A lot of damage coming out. A lot of flashes out of Jimmy, but Post is possibly going to be dangerous for them being down their players. And they're going so to clean up Scratch here. Jimmy lives with 10 health. Jimmy barely living there. there. Kevin's gonna go down. They did get both Ubers out here, so this is practically even. And in the Covenant's favor with the space that they have, but uh, assumingly they're gonna lose second here with JPG finally pushing out of last, so this is gonna be a lot more comfortable for JPG. Still practically even Ubers. Slight add on behalf of the Covenant here on Catface, but practically even. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if GPG is going to be content to sit back here, or, or how aggressive they're going to be in, in the counter sacks. They they don't seem like a team that like likes to sit still for very long. If that makes sense, but mm. looks like they won't have to. Here comes the Covenant, four players in cafe exerting a lot of pressure. Yeah, and um, with Uber's being even, oh, Kawa just going in, cleaning up scratch while he's peeking into cafe, but. With the timer, this is in favor of JPG and Scarfs! Oh, we did not Scarf's see just that. Got Don't double worry about it. by Grape Juice in Choke. That was. Grape Juice said no. That was a nasty play. <laughs> and that'll open the door for Covenant to come back in. Scratch coming up on Sniper. So it'll be. They're going to slow it down. We'll see how they do. Yeah. They have three minutes to work with here. So we'll have to see what the Covenant does with this. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the scratch cam now. The scratch cam on that sniper. It looks like they're looking to meet them here on JPG. Kawa going in for a sack is going to get... We do have exchanges happening on the flank here. Yeah, I think Great Juice jumped in and got the force yeah. while all that was happening. And using the distraction. Picks. picks in favor of JPG, and it looks like they're just going to be walking into mid here, but oh, Slug Mundo is going to go down, so that is no more soldier here. But oh my god! Scarf's perfect! <laughs> he simply can't be stopped, he just walks through everyone and forces the men! Yeah. The whole team committing, and they do get 
the force in the end. Oh, that's going to save them this round for the moment, but they will have to give up second. They are going to have to give up second here, but with that force, it's, it's going to be in favor of JPG now. Practically, very close, like about like 30% add, but enough to work with. And it seems like uh, the Covenant is going to just kind of try and get more aggressive here, looking... Or actually, no, they're trying to play Valley here, so they're looking to just kind of kite, and we do have a spy coming up here on Scratch, so... We'll have to yeah. see what the Covenant does with this. Yeah, they're where they're at this ad. Yeah. Uh, GPD trying to exert some forward pressure off of this, but it doesn't look like yeah. they're committing it's like to a push. JPG is quite comfortable kind of just sitting on this last, so they're just kind of setting up here. We do still have Scratch on Spy here, so we'll have to see what he does with it. Um, we do have an Engineer off class here. Pretty standard last setup. Uh, Ubers are even though, so... I guess we're kind of looking for a drop or a force for the Covenant. Uh, Scratch still working his way behind. Invisible, playing that, picking up playing that surveillance cam spy <laughs> yeah. right now. Feeding information to his team. I wonder if he's going to go for the gun shot. Yeah. Oh, that's... Kev is going to go down here as well. That's both soldiers and Scratch is still behind here. Is he is just going to sap the gun and back up? Is... That might be what he's looking to do, but with KJ still being here with the gun, this doesn't look very likely for them. And we do have a fight happening on second here while all this is happening. Oh, the e duel oh no. And <laughs> we didn't see anything. <laughs> and we do have a Uber. Uber's getting exchanged here yeah. on second. Uber's are fading. Uh, picks in favor of the Covenant here, seemingly, with their demo down, but. Covenant's still looking to fight here. Grip is barely living. And JPG is going to be stuck here on last once again, but it looks like they're trying to work their way into lobby. Yeah, Quad, KJ Quad's got some revenge crits. That's that's scary to see. Uh, spotted out by, by the soldier. Yeah. And we do have a spy off class coming up on uh, Scars here, so JPG is pulling out the spy this time around, saying, oh, we saw what you tried to do. <laughs> they're going to take a, a note out of their real book, so... Scarf's all the way behind here. Is gonna be able to sneak past. Going de for the decloak. <gasps> oh, and get scratched, but no med pick here. Two okay. shots on the cat face, though. That was terrifying. Yeah, extremely close, but. Poor spy, <laughs> a pick is a pick. And Soldier Great Chief is gonna sack in here. They're Scout gonna get the dispenser. <laughs> and Kawa is gonna go down, but that's gonna be traded with Kevin Great Juice here. Um. A lot of off classes on JPG. We have the Pyro F class, we have the Spy, the Engineer. Seems like the Spy is gonna go back uh, away, so we do have a Scout once again. Um, and no more Pyro as well, but oh my god! <laughs> KJ Quad walks out through dungeon, one taps Sin Karma with the crits, and that's gonna force uh, the Covenant to back out a second. When people say that Engineer is not a powerful class, they are wrong. <laughs> he just walks in with the revenge kits after getting the spy. Just yeah, they... caps the demo and wins second over to JPG. I guess he's just better. And we have a Buffalo Stick Heavy. The shenanigans continue. Kev is coming up on Heavy here. Are, are the they going to push slot. here? Looks like I, they're setting up for it. I, it I want to see what well, happens. they're running the Thomas Lab, so they don't want like a loud rev. And well, we do have an exchange coming out here. Much Jimmy better does not Uber. use it. Yeah, much better Uber. They're going to kite them into the heavy, maybe? Nothing is happening with the heavy yet. <laughs> and Slug Window is possibly looking to sack. The heavy's hiding Kevin in the corner. Is it's going to melt this up. Oh. Oh, Kao with a nice oh, rocket on the cat but face though to Grape clean that up at the end. Grape is going to here and clean up Jimmy as well. And Penny is going to go get... Grape just lives there. He's just simply better. I guess the heavy play was worth it. The heavy paid off. They did lose their medic though, which will prevent them from rolling this all the way to last. And this is complete... That was like a complete wipe. And although Ubers are even, so they aren't going to be able to take this all the way to last, this was... An extremely strange. Oh, they fight. won't be even for long. Uh, Catface is up on the Kritzkrieg. I think that they're going to go laser beam heavy. I'm calling it. Oh, 
Oh, that's true. They could be laser beam. But they need to build. They're not building. Yeah, this is going to be practically even without their building. <laughs> we do have a sniper off class, though, on JPG. We do have a uh, Kajit on snipers. So we'll have to see what oh, he does with this. this is going to be the soonest of advantages. If it, if it is... If this is crits, heavy... They gotta go now. It's on yeah. some karma. Here they go. They know, they know. And it's and a they are gonna Uber. Krieg. Yeah, nothing is gonna get caught out here. And Scratch is gonna go down. The heavy walking in. Is anyone gonna stop him? Entire Uber use on him. He's gonna go down and JPG is just gonna clean up and walk all the way to second. <laughs> oh man, Covenant's tried everything and the kitchen sink, but their pushes have shattered against the brick wall that is GPG's defense. Yeah. Just unable. Are, they are coming up on crits out again. I'll see if they can do anything in this, but Sinkara walking forward aggressively. Oh, a bomb coming in from Luna is going to get traded here. Kawa is on cap face, isn't going to get cleaned up until he dies. A lot of trades happening here. This is technically in favor of the Covenant here. Are they going to commit to last year? And Spawners it seems like come they up are, in seven but seconds. Scratch is, Scratch is just going to win against KJ, despite having a medic. But this is a point! This is a point for the Covenant! And this, the momentum started to swing back the other way, Mocha. We, we could see a tie game here. We too. could see a tie game! We'll have to see what they take with this. Another mid fight. This could just mean one med dying in the mid fight and just a complete uberad takeover to last. So we'll have to see what they do with this. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the demo health early. It's been a real decider in these mids. Neither demo eating much spam. Uh, Sin Karma. A lot of bombs take happening. Down to there. five health, though. Oh. Extremely low, but up. is gonna get cleaned up. A lot of bombs happening from JPG, but Soldier is gonna get cleaned up here. And extremely low players, but a lot of trades still. Practically a 4v4 is going to clean up Scratch here. This is now in favor of JPG and is going to clean up Kev as well. Hubbada and Cafes have switched roles, actually. We do have yeah. Hubbada on Med now and Cafes on Scout. So... Didn't help him that mid. Uh, Cafes escape, is going to get but... chased through lower, but is going to live here. So we do have a role swap here. We used to have Hubbada on Scout and Cafes on Medic, but we now have Cafes on Scout and Hubbada on Medic, so... I don't know if that means they take it more seriously. I don't know Hubbada to be an invite scout main. They will push yeah. out GPG out from their second. Looks like they want to keep going off that pick. Yeah, Scratch just running in through choke. And they are going to pop here. This is going to be so much better for JPG. They're going to pop it in exchange. And are gonna clean up grape juice here, trying to get any more damage, but with no other picks, this is practically an even fight. Scott Catface in way behind. We'll have to take oh my god. Oh Catface. Two v one with scouts down. and gets blindsided. It's two picks now for GPG. Looks like they're gonna take this momentum into cafe or choke here. Cav attempts goes for a pick on Penny, doesn't get it. This is a late pick on Kev, so Kev is on a long respawn timer here on last. And Ubers are practically even, but this is still the... You know, kind of a late setup. Kev yeah. is going to go on the entry here, and setting up the sentry. And a lot of pressure for JPG in lobby area. It looks like they're looking to exchange as soon as possible. Yeah, they've got that 10% ad. It they're is the use it to... here. Yeah. Looks like they're putting a lot of pressure on left side, trying to get picks here, not gonna find anything just yet. But, oh my gosh, Scarves is just all the way in, and is gonna get cleaned up here. But Kev... Ooh. Kev is gonna get cleaned up as well, so this is... Kinda just trading two players here. Uber's still even. Sentry... Did get destroyed, but is gonna get rebuilt. But grape juice isolated, down to 30 uh, is health. Is KJ just gonna walk all the way through? <laughs> He's on point! Is anyone is... gonna stop him? <laughs> this has happened every net or every last hole. And Uber's are gonna be sides, here really. on last. It's a chaotic fight. Kev is down. gonna get cleaned up. There's so much cap time. Oh, though. but a huge bomb from Kala and, is and gonna clean up on the end. Quad just oh runs in and caps it. That's the game. And that's it. That's the game. <laughs> what a match, Mocha. What a match. 
You just, I'll, I'll admit to you. I didn't. I didn't say that the comment was gonna win, so I, I admit to you. <laughs> but oh my gosh, that was so extremely scrappy. I I didn't know what to keep track of doing that entire thing. Yeah, lots of chaotic fights with these teams. A few mistakes where doors weren't being watched, and a, a team would just spill through and collapse onto the other yeah. one. Yeah. A lot of the last were just kind of scouts walking in left side for free and then just walking across and sitting on point until it was like practically fully capped and then popping over. It was insane how much like cap time they could get down to just walk through though. Yeah. Lots of lots of creative approaches to pushing and holding last. You'd love to see it. Yeah. Uh I like the offensive pyro from Kawa. That's <laughs> yeah, probably my favorite. Pyro. Something I haven't seen before, honestly. I've never seen the offensive pyro played on Sunshine specifically. So that was definitely extremely interesting. Um, I do wonder what the whole switching Habita and Cafes thing was in terms of just like kind of bouncing back and forth between classes. So yeah, I, I don't know if they were. I can't tell. I don't know enough about these players to say if it's a tactical thing or they're just trying to like flex on GPG. But either way, it <laughs> did not work out. For Interesting them flex. <laughs> I, uh, I do believe we are possibly getting an interview here. So we are getting uh, a possible in uh, interview with Jimmy and or Rocket King. Um, from JPG, the medic. Unconfirmed. Oh, it is confirmed. Okay. So we will get to ask him a couple questions. I'm going to pull up some logs in the meantime. Oh, we have logs. We'll have Another... to check these out. The, the medic highest... stats are going to be a bit skewed, especially since Cafe some. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, Hobbit has switched around, so. Um, we might not get the full picture account. there. Yeah. Uh, it seems like JPG, uh, fragged out practically. Their, their team was very much on par with each other. Their scouts and, uh, their soldier being the top fraggers of this match. Yeah. And we do, we do have Rocket King joining us soon. Um, looking at, uh, just kind of the med picks and stuff. The again, obviously it's slightly skewed, but like there's a lot more stars. longevity on Both Jimmy. With three. So. Yeah. Oh, and it does seem like Jimmy is here. Hello. Yo. Welcome. <gasps> Rocket King. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling after that W? Um, I'm happy. Uh, you know I. Go into the match knowing it's gonna be a challenging one because you know everyone on their team is you know really good. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I'm really happy that me and uh, my team were able to pull through, uh, even though they they weren't on their main class. Two of them, you know, Cafes was on medic and Hubbada was mm -hmm. on scout. Yeah, we were noting that in the cast here. Yeah. Um, seems like it was kind of a, a rough start for you guys. Uh, yeah, there was a, yeah, a couple um, of bad Ubers with quad, but you you were able to pull the momentum back eventually and swing it back. Can you what turned it around for your team as far as like mentality and, and overall play? Uh, yeah. So for me, like personally, the first ten minutes of that match was really rough for me. I think I died like six or seven times in, within like the first ten minutes, and I knew I was like having a rough time. But I was I was just telling myself like you know the match isn't over yet you know there's still I just need to focus on the rest of the match and that's why I did and we didn't give up you know um just trying to win uh that was our mindset is just get the dub and we pulled through yeah but was... and we also definitely like slowed down in some situations when our Ubers were like we at times we feel like we were rushing things and we just like called to chill and. You know, like, and slow things down and be more coordinated, and it worked out in our favor. And in the end, yeah. Would you say there was someone who kind of just like called that out after losing those first two rounds? Like, kind of just told you guys, like, okay, guys, like we have to, we have to slow down here. Did you guys kind of uh, just 
I'll well, collectively everyone be on the same on our team, everyone on our team, we're kind of like saying like it's not over yet, guys. Like cheer up, you know, like don't don't give up yet. Like, and we just uh yeah, we everyone was just locked in, and yeah, the result speaks for itself. Oh, for sure, for sure. So I guess uh, going forward, do you guys think um if you are to make playoffs, do you think Sunshine is one of your stronger maps as a team? Uh. Yeah, as of now, I definitely think Sunshine is one of our top maps, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. And it's also one of my favorite maps uh, in the pool currently, for sure. M my favorite map, actually, out of all the maps in the pool right now. Oh, so. mm -hmm. Yeah. I see that, I see it. And it does seem like you guys do have another match scheduled on the 16th on Thursday against uh, Anglerfish. Uh, no, our or, next oh, match no, no, is against match Insect is, Gang, uh, but Insect it's on Gang. Wednesday. Yeah, on the yeah, it's tomorrow. Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, and, and yeah, I just we're about that. uh we're feeling pretty good. I think we're ready to you know uh play our best and then match tomorrow and hopefully continue our win streak to six and zero. For sure, for sure. Um, I guess as any last notes, you want to say anything? Any shoutouts? Yeah, I'd feeling? like to. Uh, I'd like to shout out my teammates. Uh, everyone on GPG. Uh, Ed, Scarves, you know, Kawa, Slug, and Penny. And also shout out to our enemy, you know, our uh, the team we played against, Covenant for, you know, putting up an awesome match. And uh, it was definitely fun to watch. I'm also really happy to uh, to beat Kev because he cut me uh, on Cozy, and now I beat him in invite <laughs> for the first time. Ooh, revenge <laughs> arc, revenge arc. I see, I see. Okay, yeah. we'll have to see how this plays out then. We'll be looking out after this interview. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, Rocket. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you for you. having me. Have a good night, guys. Yeah, same to you. Good job. All right, I guess that kind of wraps up our interview. And I guess, cheers, do you have any last words regarding uh, today's match or possible future matches? Um, not really. It was, just, it was just a fun match to watch. You'd love to see the off classes, the, like... Teams pulling out creative stuff. Um, oh, that's chaotic yeah. fights. The like, the the clutch plays. Slug Mundo had a lot of like great picks in particular. I, I gotta shout that out. Oh, Just definitely. a fun night of TFT, really. I do have to I'm say glad the, I was here. The the Kev heavy was the poovis. It was oh. <laughs> something else. <laughs> but a lot, yeah, a lot of silly fun uh, off classes, but. I guess we'll have to see in the future how this kind of plays out. And uh, I guess, don't forget, we do have a sponsor of sorts. Uh, do check out Swifty Surveys. There's a link in our, one of our panels to connect to that. And uh, any last minute shout outs? Um, not really on my end. Uh, shout out Dr. Underscore and Jay, of course, for oh, keeping yeah, Fireside nice. rolling. For sure, for sure. I do have to shout out uh, Lou, who I believe is still in chat. For always greeting everyone with a hi every time they join a comp, um, <laughs> a comp stream. Hi, Lou. Hi. Hi, hi Lou Seth. <laughs> hi, 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 Looser 200 as well. <laughs> Love you, dude. And shout out, I guess, to everyone else who joined in here and watched us. I hope you all have a good night and thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time.